Hi, this is Sheila Lindsay. I'm back here for episode number three of Lindsay Farms Kitchen. And what we're going to make now is some Weight Watcher friendly bagels. And this whole recipe will make four bagels. And it will be five points for the whole thing, or you can split that up and decide how much per, per bagel. But anyway, that's why I like this because, you know, when you're on a diet, you just get hungry for something good like a bagel. All right, we're going to use one cup of self-rising flour. One cup. And of course, you can cut this in half if you only want two bagels. If you're afraid you might eat the whole thing, cut it in half. And one cup of plain Greek yogurt. This is the same dough recipe that we use to make our pizza dough. And remember, it has to be plain Greek yogurt, not the fruity, sweet kind. And, you know, with Weight Watchers, they've added a whole bunch of free foods and one of the free fruits is plain Greek yogurt. So I like free. Means you don't have to count it. Now I wash my hands. You know, I just think this needs a little bit extra yogurt to make it. I'm going to add an, another tablespoon of yogurt to make this the right consistency. And if you go to Walmart or wherever you shop, look for this spice. It's called Everything But The Bagel. And it's, it's, it'll make an everything bagel. You know what that is. And that spice is so good, I use it on everything. Okay, good to go. Now, I'll tell you what we need. Hold on a second. I need a little bit more self-rising flour. Remember, we're using self-rising flour, not all-purpose flour. Just knead it a little bit, fold it over. You're trying to make your dough a little bit elastic, but don't go crazy. This is not a regular bread recipe where you have to knead and rise and wait. And I don't have time for that. I'm a busy woman. I'm retired. Okay. Now. I'm gonna roll this out. Let me move this so you can see what I'm doing. Roll this out, and you're going to cut this into four. So here we go. Cut it in half and then cut it in half again, and then you've got four pieces. I just learned that recently. Okay. Roll each one out till you've got it. So you can make a bagel. Viola. Then you just pinch the ends together that nifty? There's your bagel. Now, I'm not going to put the spice on it yet. What you have to do is you have to put um, egg white or milk or something on the top of that um, so the spice won't roll off. I'm going to need a little bit more flour. Thanks again to my son Chuck, he's my cameraman. Okay, now, there's 
number two. Pinch it together a little bit so it'll stay. Here we go. Now, a regular bagel is boiled before it's baked, but we, this dough, we're not going to boil them, we're just going to bake them. But they make really good sandwiches and uh, makes a really good low point, low Weight Watcher point breakfast. A little bit of low fat cream cheese on it. Mmm, good. But I like to use this recipe for making sandwiches. It's just, I don't like that low fat bread. It has no flavor whatsoever. It's like eating straw. So this has some really good taste to it. And that's what we want. This is such a versatile dough. We've made a pizza crust out of this dough. We're making bagels out of this dough. You can make cinnamon rolls out of this dough. And you know, any of you out there that do Weight Watchers, you know you can take a recipe and turn it into low fat, low sugar. We all know how to do that. Okay, here's my, here's my dish. I'm going to coat this with egg white and then I'm going to add this spice to it and if you'll just give me a minute I'll get my egg whites. Okay I just scrambled an egg here and we're just going to coat the top with a little bit of egg wash and that will make it a little golden brown on top but the real reason we do this is so that the spice won't roll off. We want the spice to stick but you knew that, didn't you? Okay. Okay. That's our egg wash. Here's our everything but the bagel stripes. I like to put a lot on there just in case some of it falls off, but mostly if you use the egg it won't fall off. Now what we've done is we've preheated the oven for 350 and this is going to go in for 30 minutes. So, And you know uh, what I do is since I'm the only one in my house that's on a diet, I'll use one and then I'll put the other three in the refrigerator and just eat on them during the week. If I don't freak out and eat the whole thing. Okay, Viola, there it is. So it's going in the oven for 350 for 30 minutes. We'll be back in 30 minutes. Okay, people, our bagels are done. I want you to see how good they look. Isn't that beautiful? So, there they are, perfect. So, I hope you try this recipe soon. Remember, Jesus is the bread of life, so God bless you real good. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.